So in my earlier video, I recommended you to grind the US battleship line as one of your first lines when you're a new player in World of Warships. And uh, another line that I suggested in that video was the Japanese battleship line, namely the Yamato line. Here's the tier 6 Fuso, which is the equivalent of the New Mexico. And as, again, as a captain's skills, I recommend you to take Emergency Repair Specialist, Priority Target, Adrenaline Rush, and Concealment Expert. And these skills help you to mitigate some damage. Um, in a typical higher point captain build, you would probably like to take fire prevention expert and maybe um, emergency repair expert to help you uh, mitigate the HE spam that is even more prevalent on the higher levels or the higher tiers. But as this captain now only has 10 points. I suggest you take the concealment expert as it will help you to disengage from the battle easily or easier than if you wouldn't have it. That way with the Fuso you get somewhat smaller detectability range but it's still quite bad. Adrenaline Rush helps you to shoot faster after you've taken damage and the effect of this skill is higher the higher the tier the ship you're playing in. And priority target lets you to know when you are being targeted by the enemy. Another good skill for these ships would be Grease the Gears which um, increases your main battery traverse speed. And one good skill would probably be also the gun feeder, which helps you to switch your main battery shell type easier, as both the AP and HE are good in these Japanese battleships. So both are good options. And for equipment, of course, first you will have an upgraded ship, but with the XP and credits you earn, you can and you should upgrade your ship. Um, I would probably start from the hull and then the propulsion and as the latest the gunfire control system as even with the stock fire control system you get almost 20 kilometers range which is more than enough in my opinion then again main armaments modification one to the first upgrade slot then damage control system aiming systems mod one another option would be the main battery mod 2 that would give you more battery traverse speed you have the equivalent captain skill here the grease the skiers so in this case when we take priority target first you might consider replacing aiming systems with the main battery mod 2 but aiming systems mod 2 gives you a better main battery shell dispersion which i think is a pretty nice thing to have in a battleship of course when you get 12 points then it's no longer no no longer in my view unless you want really fast to retraverse uh, there's no point in taking 
this upgrade. I rather have the dispersion. Of course, if if your aim is not that good, then um, you won't be benefiting from this upgrade that much. But it's your choice. And these battleships have the usual repair party and spotting aircraft. And of course, you have the depth charge airstrikes, but only one flight and one plane. So the ASWE is pretty bad on the Japanese battleships. Right, let's go to a random battle and see if we get nicer nicer matchmaking this time. Last time it was um, tier, against tier 8 ships, which is pretty usual, but uh, often restricts how you play, how you can play the ship. And generally speaking, the Japanese battleships are a little bit more fragile, they have more speed, they are quicker, and often it is said that they are back row snipers, but by no means they are restricted to that role. And unfortunately again we get tier 8 match, and uh, there's only one, on, only two DDs. Aida is a gunboat and Fubuki is a torpedo boat. Shokaku is a nasty, nasty opponent. We probably like to stay for now in close to the Auckland, but and so we can combine our anti-air. We are an easy target, probably prime target for the Shokaku. So we don't have much anti-air. We could stick close to the Aguila. He's probably going next to the island. Auckland is uh, tier 8. He's probably good with anti-air. Now let's go with him. I don't really want to follow the CV and be useless. And with this uh, IGN battleships it's often a good idea to go to the flank. With the US battleships you had to stay more, more closely to the center of the map because you were slow to relocate, but these are a bit faster. By modern standards these are not fast battleships, but, but still. Faster than the US battleships. The enemy CV went to the other flank, so we can be at peace for a moment. Uh, enemy DD is contesting D, so we turn our guns there and help our, help our um, DD there. Okay, it's the Aida. Vogelin is in, is in trouble because Haida has a long range hydro. We might have a dead DD here unless Auckland is able to help him. I'm trying to keep the Weimar away from the cap. And if we count the ships, one, two, three, four, five, six. We are heavily outnumbered here, so for now we need to be careful. There's no reason to push forward, we need to start turning around and start kiting away just to slow down these guys. And the Weimar seems to be better than the average player. He's throttle juking. And ch or changing his speed. And Haida is pushing in his crawling smoke. We are dark, so let's turn our ship around. And the guns, which are slow to turn. Okay, 
these bottom tier matches can be quite quite slow paced as you can't really push like if i would go there i would be instantly killed in a minute now we have some kind of crossfire if they try to push to the middle we have these guys over here and we are here so we can shoot them and they can't really angle against us Haida doesn't have much of a torpedo power so he's not that big of a threat he's probably uh, run out of his smoke soon he can uh, open water gun boat us but that's not that bad So I'm looking for any broadsides from these ships, unfortunately, they are also trying to be really careful, so we'll just keep our position here for now and keep them from pushing further. We are not in a position to push them. If I were in a tier 8 battleship, then I might be able to, but in this case, I'm bottom tier battleship, so I'm a hu huge target for everyone. And I don't really have the armor to take on the enemy ships. Are you guys? Getting damage, okay. Seems like uh, Auckland has been spotted by the Haida. And he he's making a gamer turn. Seems to have survived. And the enemy has started their push. Let's focus on the King George first. Because I'm here, they will need to push through the flank. If they come through the middle, I get the broadside. So this is the strategy behind my positioning. I will switch to HE, as the HE is also quite nice on these ships. I will... I'm considering turning my ship again, because Haida does have some torps. And he can uh, single launch them from close, close range and do a lot of damage. All forces provide cover for that target. Uh, King George is burning nicely. Let's uh, see if we can get a fire on the Leon. So what you want to do is make small corrections to your speed and direction so that you are a bit unpre unpredictable for the enemy team. That way you probably manage to avoid torpedoes and some of the enemy fire. Again we are trying to get a fire on the King George because he's the lowest health target at the moment. That was not a really nice hit. Starting to focus on me, so I need to move a little bit. I can dodge some of their some of their shells. So this is again again kiting. I'm in a kiting position, drawing them to the corner and prevent them from moving directly. To the middle. As I only have one fire on me, I don't really need to 
Astern. I don't really need to use repair. My damage control party. We are running out of the map. Uh, we are. Leon is dying to the fires, and here's the Hugo uh, Haida. So, this kind of bottom tier gameplay requires you to be patient. So, it's not very exciting. And now we have a. Now we have a ship pushing in the middle. We were a bit late. With so now we switch to AP. Let's heal. Let's heal that and also repair the double fire. Problem solved, sir. And let's focus on the Weimar. Fire. Target penetrated. Got a nice citadel there. There's the map border. Fortunately, the King George is still there, so we can't really we can't go dark and we can't turn freely. We need to keep the angle. The Weimar can't really turn either. He need to show broad to the Oakland. If he wants to do that, okay. We are getting shot by the Scharnhorst. Ship is on fire! Need to repair. Weimar is going down. Nice. That'll help us somewhat. Still can't go. Let's use the heal. Still can't go undetected because of the King George, but he's showing us broadside, so. And he's also turning. See if we can if we can shoot the Harlem. A really hard target to aim for the King George because I'm humping the humping the white line. And again, by drawing the enemy and preventing them from moving to the middle, we are winning the game. This is often what happens when you are bottom tier. Let's use Let's send our spotting aircraft, maybe it'll spot the Ida. I have a feeling that when I turn, I will be get torped by the Ida. I'm so slow when doing it. Okay, we got rid of the Harlem. Now we are good target for the King George. But I need to get, get away from the border. Ok, 
Okay, that is the enemy aircraft carrier. King George is not interested of us anymore. Let's see if we can hit the CV. He's angling though. Okay, there's the Aida. These torps are probably on the way. But we can go dark now, which is nice. Instructions. Torpedoes to starboard. Yeah, there's the torpedoes, but we are loose. We, can, we are gonna take one, but that's not the We're big problem. We're flooding quickly. Now I could switch to HE and push the Ida. But uh Problem solved, sir. Auckland is already quite close to him. No reason to use the last heal yet. Okay, there he is. Okay, we miss most of our shells. Let's switch to HE. Now we push him. Let's use the heal. His torps might be up. Okay, he's dead. Seems like Auckland killed him. And now there's only King George and the Shokaku left. Shokaku is behind the island. Otherwise he would be spotted by now. Our victory is in sight. We missed that one. And now it's only the Shokaku. So again, like in the earlier YouTube video, uh, I was the underdog. I managed to rank, rack up almost 70k damage. I got one kill, that's not much. But this is about survival when you are tier 6 battleship in a tier 8 game. You can't play, play aggressive and if you just decide to disregard the fact that you're the weakest ship in the game, then unfortunately you're not gonna have much success. So what is needed is patience. Patience and um, some willingness to learn. But I'm not saying it's by no means easy. You need to go and see some YouTube videos and look for advice. There's my second kill of the game. So we are in Dreadnought. 70k damage. Two destroyed enemy ships. We have a fourth in our team as an underdog. Totally outnumbered, totally under-tiered. And uh, our Auckland, I need to compliment him because he was there to support me and 
didn't do anything that got him killed instantly. Unfortunately, our Vogelin was not that careful. He went into the gap right in the beginning and um, was greeted by the enemy Ida and her supports. And here's the damage distribution. We, we also tanked over a million points damage, which help our team and also shows I managed to mitigate some of that incoming damage to our team. So this was the Fuso, which was the tier 6 IGN battleship. And now it's up to you if you want to choose to grind up the US battleship line or if you choose this one. So American battleships, the slow Mon line to Montana or actually it's slow slow until Colorado and if you want to continue after that with slow ships it's Fairmont it um, teaches you positioning like this one also does but there you have to mitigate different things you need to mitigate your slowness and play accordingly so I hope this was helpful and uh, I wish you a good uh, world of warships.